Oh god. Oh no. A video game with mixed reviews. What am I gonna say that's not gonna be controversial? Um, Death Stranding is a video game. Don't be so sad. So recently, I copped myself a PS4 to finally be able to play all of PlayStation's incredible exclusives I've been missing out on for so long. And so, I got the bundle that came with PlayStation's most killer exclusives, being Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, and The Last of Us Remastered. And then I also bought Death Stranding. Once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. Now, before we all go crazy, let's ask, what really even is Death Stranding? Whoa, I gotta order this. Wow, one day shipping? Wow, dude, no way! This is awesome! Why are we still oh, here? Thank you so much. I know you're about to travel. Just to suffer. Time. But to briefly explain what Death Stranding actually is, it is a story-driven cinematic adventure game where you play as Norman Reedus, or Sam, and you're tasked to reconnect a post-apocalyptic United States after an event called the Death Stranding. You team up with an organization called Bridges, and you're set foot to do exactly that. Reconnect the United States. You have to travel across the United States to reconnect cities with one another, and in this post-apocalyptic United States, there are these invisible monsters called BTs. They're pretty goddamn terrifying. Thankfully, you got the baby, or the BB unit, and this basically gives you the ability to connect to the other side and see these monsters to a certain extent. The whole game is very sci-fi-esque and really mysterious, and the entire story kind of unravels itself throughout the game. When you first get introduced to the world of Death Stranding, there is so much unknown, and that was kind of the excitement for me. The world has so much deep, interesting lore and mystery, and it's the reason I was so intrigued by this game in the first place. Now, the gameplay of this game is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some pretty frustrating parts when it feels like you're either tripping over close to nothing, or you run out of stamina while you're trying to cross the river. But majorly, the gameplay has been really engaging for me. I kind of have this drive to constantly improve my methods and tools of traversal. The game constantly throws new challenges and tools your way that keep the gameplay constantly evolving and being interesting. The actual walking simulator part of the game has a lot more depth than I was led to believe. Sure, you're technically walking from point A to point B, but the gameplay expands with its options and depth and it keeps me really engaged. And the way the game uses music to create cinematic experiences while playing the game is like no other. I really like the music in this game by the way. Death Stranding creates such a neat atmosphere and it is executed so well. I'm pretty sure most people by now know whether they would like this game or not. But if you're still on the fence about it, I do recommend giving it a genuine shot. Hopefully the great story, beautiful world, and overall experience outweighs the irritating flaws. Actually, I take it back, this game sucks. Hey guys, it's Dingani. Thank you for watching the quality content. Uh, working on my next video now. Well, once I finish recording this, I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this, and then I'm gonna work on my next video. Uh, I'm really trying to do weekly, but right now it's kind of like bi-weekly videos. We'll see what I can do. But uh, I do recommend you subscribe if you haven't, because I make awesome gaming content that you should totally subscribe for. Anyway, um, please like the video if you did like it. Hey yo! Also, shout out to my boy Nick for hitting one million. Congrats, Nick! I will see you guys in the next video, um, yeah, so bye.